All right, our draft today. Teams that we would want to have full Madden franchise mode control over this offseason, given all the chaos that is looming. Miles, you're new to this morning show draft. You're new to the morning show. We do a trivia question to determine the first pick. I have a question for you. Who was the first player who graced the cover of the Madden game? For years, it was John Madden. They switched at some point to players. Who was the first one? That's a good question. Um, Eddie George? Because I know he Oh, was on the- he got it. He got it. Don't Let's you go. Hey, you got it. <laughs> Eddie go. George, I know he was on. I know it was him. Yes, Ooh. there it is, Eddie George. I, nice. You know, I have – I have memories. Now, now you just download the game. I, I remember one time when that game came out. It came out at midnight, and my son's like, let's go. We went to the mall, and they were giving them out pizza, and everybody's lined up to get the Madden game. I can't remember who was on the cover that year, but it's, it's just an event every year when that game comes out. And even if nobody buys the box anymore, there's still something to be said for being on the cover of the game. All right, you get it. You're up first. What do you got? Oh, awesome, man! I'm juiced about that. I yeah, that was that made me feel really good. Uh, let's go with the Chargers. That's who do I want? Because I'll tell you, if you have Justin Herbert already, that really sets you up very well for doing whatever else you want to do in terms of getting guys on your team, like receivers. You want to make a trade. You want to do this. You want to do that. You also already have Joey Bosa on your team. And I don't know about you, Mike, but I like to play with pass rushers. So if I'm going to get after the quarterback, there's not many people better than playing with Joey Bosa. Also, we can talk about franchise mode. You want to, you have cool uniforms. Chargers have some of the best uniforms in the sport right now. And they play in one of the coolest stadiums that's ever been constructed in the history of the world. So that's why I would want to play with the Chargers, and I want to be the Chargers GM. I am stunned by your selection for a variety of reasons. You used to work for the Rams. They play <laughs> in the same stadium. You've already mentioned that the Rams could be one of the super teams. I thought that was going to be your first pick. So, Miles, I'm taking the Rams. I'm, you're leaving it out there. I'm taking it. And I love, I love the interior defensive lineman who throws the center into the legs of the quarterback and just bull rushes past him and just screws everything up in Aaron Donald. He does that at walkthrough practices. So you got Aaron Donald, you got Jalen Ramsey. You're going to have all these other guys where you can say, hey, we got Matthew Stafford. Look at all the buzz. I mean, think about it. That's the biggest story of the offseason so far. Matthew Stafford traded to the Rams, and everybody thinks it's going to be this rebirth for the team, and Stafford's going to be great. So any skill position players out there, who find themselves available. They're going to come sniffing around the Rams, and, may, and you're going to have your choice. They're going to be lining up for the chance to play for the Rams. You construct a team that yeah was a playoff team last year. You upgrade at quarterback. You get all these other pieces. You've still got Jalen Ramsey. You've still got Aaron Donald. I, I, would, I would take the Rams, and I, I'm stunned. You got the question right, but you didn't take the team that I thought would be the obvious first pick for you. Well, I don't know. I think when you're talking about franchise mode, you you want something that you can set up for, you know, 10, 15 years, not just oh, okay. two or three. Right. So that's the way I kind of thought about it. But obviously the Rams, the Rams would be a great choice. Uh, I still know people there and maybe I'll hear from them, especially because you called me out on that. Uh, but I'll <laughs> go with my next pick now. And I would say my next pick is going to be Washington. And it's for some of the similar reasons, right? You don't have the QB there but you can figure out a way to get one. And I think, you know, in franchise mode, I don't know if the player can veto a trade. So if you're Washington and you want to give up three first round picks and then whoever else you can find on your roster to make that thing level out so that it'll show you a little green bar instead of the red bar and you can actually make the trade, then hey, maybe you get Deshaun Watson or maybe you, you trade up in order for that number one pick from the Jaguars and then you get whatever QB that the thing makes up in there and their you know user created whatever it is, a uh, computer system. So I think that would be fun. And also you talk about guys getting after the QB as a pass rusher, you have Chase Young. And I think he'd be fun to play with and you can also, at least you used to be able to, do the thing where you rebrand the team. So maybe you can actually come up with a Washington football team name. I think that would be fun to do in franchise mode. I would want to have Madden-style franchise mode control this offseason over the Green Bay Packers because 
I think that they've been doing it wrong, all due respect. They don't placate Aaron Rodgers. I would immediately trade Jordan Love maybe to your Washington football team and get assets and go out and, and just, hey, I got Aaron Rodgers, and I'm going to build my team around him. I'm going to take full advantage of the opportunity to bring in big-name star players to sprinkle around the roster and take my 13-3 and three team and push it to the next level. And if I have to say goodbye to Aaron Jones, I say goodbye to Aaron Jones. If I have to say goodbye to Corey Lindsley, I say goodbye to Corey Lindsley. But I go out and I grab the guys that I can, cheap contracts one year, and try to push it through the rest of the way and win a championship, at least one more with Aaron Rodgers. That would be a lot of fun. The, the As long as you're on we're going to get every guy that we can with an eye toward delivering another championship for Aaron Rodgers. Okay, yeah, and that makes a lot of sense. But again, I think I think we approach franchise mode differently here, Mike, because you're just going all in for one season, and I'm trying to think like, okay, how can I make this thing my own? All right, so like that's why I think my next pick would probably be the Jets because the Jets are a completely blank canvas. You can basically do whatever you want with however, you know, you want to do things with Sam Darnold. You trade him away. You get an extra first round pick. If the game actually lets you get a first round pick for him, that would be an interesting thing to do. You know, then you still have some, maybe some pieces on defense that you might want to get rid of. It's all in your control. I think if you want to have the jets and then make them into a contender in the AFC East, because the only play team you really got to maybe contend with is Buffalo, you know, and then, cause I don't know how good two is going to be in that game. All right. So I think the jets would be interesting from the sense that they basically are a blank canvas and you can basically do whatever you want with them. And I would rather play with them in New York than with Jacksonville and Florida. Sorry, Jacksonville. This is a fascinating draft because we're slipping back and forth from reality to Madden and and, and and so I'm going to slip closer to Madden with this one and say I would want the Ravens because Lamar Jackson uh, is, is one of the most deadly weapons currently in the game. And the quarterback is the guy you control all the time on offense until you, you know, until you hand the ball off or complete the pass. But he's the guy you control the most. He dictates the tempo. And if things break down, he can take off and run, build the team around Lamar Jackson, take advantage of the opportunities that'll be out there. Cause look at the struggles they've had to find receivers and they've typically had to draft them because who wants to go join that offense? Well, this year when the music stops at the teams that have the high flying, high powered passing offenses, there's going to be receivers left over. That's when you can pick the best ones, get the fast ones, get the, just get whoever there's going to be guys there where you can make that team better. You can make that offense more potent and it's all built around Lamar Jackson and a defense that's pretty damn good, and you'll be able to upgrade them as well, and they're already a team that's on the cusp. They make the right moves this offseason, whether in real world or franchise Madden mode. They're in a position to be very good in 2021. Yeah, they probably are. And I think that that's why the Ravens are such a fascinating team. And, you know, when you're talking about Lamar Jackson and playing with Lamar Jackson, it's just, there's just so much speed. And so if you kind of really can't throw in that game, like I really just cannot, then it makes it a lot, life a lot easier where you can just run around and do whatever you want. Um, I think uh, Matt Casey I makes know, a good point. Wait, wait, hang on. Matt Casey makes a good point before your fourth pick. Uh, when you sign a free agent in Madden, the free agent can't say no. So you can go yes. grab those. You can go grab those receivers, even if they don't want to be blocking all game long. All right, go ahead, fourth round. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's very fair. Uh, next one so I would go is probably San Francisco, the you know, 49ers, because you get to decide what they do with Jimmy G. You can maybe bring in Deshaun Watson, get that trade done, and then again, you got a Bosa on the other side of the ball, where you can have a lot of fun trying to get after the quarterback. They've got some good uniforms up there too. I kind of think, and you know, I think what the the fun part about the 49ers now is they definitely are a team that can compete. And if you make those right trades and you make those right moves and you're playing with Deshaun Watson, then that makes you an immediate contender. And I think that that would be a lot of fun to figure out how you get all those things done and what you can do with those cornerbacks too. You can maybe sign a good one. Maybe <laughs> you're the miracle that would bring back Richard Sherman perhaps. So there's a lot of things that I think make the 49ers a fun play in franchise mode. So just so I'm clear, you would trade Jimmy Garoppolo. You try to get to Sean Watson. Is that what you would do? Absolutely. No question. 
All right. Uh, the next one for me, and this can go a lot of different ways. Um, I, I'd, I'd be fascinated by the Steelers just because Ben, see you later. But it's a hell of a lot easier as the Madden GM to find a replacement. The challenge for the Steelers is there's no obvious replacement out there, but you've got the receivers, you've got the defense, you're attracted to the pass rushing aspect of it, TJ Watt on the team. You've got the back end of the defense. You, 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 you're you going to be good. You get the right quarterback, and you're going to be great. And it's a lot easier as the Madden franchise mode GM to get a better quarterback than it is in the real world. That's the dilemma the Steelers is will be facing. If Ben isn't there, who is going to take the reins, and what's that going to do to the team in 2021? Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.